Welcome to your Transit Talk Report for the Mars and Leo Transit. This is the Peace Dealer. And during this Mars and Leo Transit, you will find your courage. This is exceptionally important because when it comes to your power, and when it comes to your desire and will, it is gone through the ringer, literally. So it coming through Leo, where Venus will subsequently catch up to it later in this transit, and specifically in Virgo, many of you will now start to feel the fun parts of really tapping into your desire and really understanding the power of your own passion. Leo, is a very passionate sign and Mars loves to be here. A lot of planets love to be in Leo, actually. So the energy that you're really going to be inspired with all transit is a brimming and budding fire that will add greater strength and courage. If we recap, you initially gained supernatural strength when Mars went into Taurus. And the reason why I say this is we had a super legendarily rare configuration. I made it the word legendarily, but when it conjuncted Uranus in Aries at the tail end, power was sparked in you. We had started a new cycle that has sparked in your spirit a, a, a supernatural will, a much more enhanced quality and power of how well you can act at the highest level of yourself. And it went through Taurus and started to develop strength within this power through your body. Before it went through Gemini to now enlighten your mind with all possibilities of how you can express your power intelligently. And it has now recently gone through cancer, breaking you down at the core of your soul to make sure as you develop your psychic power to project your emotions and really understand how powerful you are, it becoming in Leo, add all the strength into your heart. And the reason why I say this is gonna get fun is this Mars and Cancer transit was very difficult and you might have lost the sense of that, which will be regained should you be willing to fight against fear and find your courage instead. Mars and Leo will be making an aspect after the sun as it continues to lead the zodiac, although Mercury has caught up to it. And so you'll find that as we're still being aware of our super psychic emotions, and what we can do with them. Your desire is leading you into deeper fire that is brimming greater strength, hope, and fun. Really attuning your desire to what you can have with all this power. By the time Mars leaves Cancer, you will have initially transformed your sense of psychic power to where it's more than tangible and you're starting to experiment with the causality between how you project your feelings and how it reacts with your current reality. So once it goes into Leo like a king or a queen, you're really feeling in your strength and really desiring with your heart how you wanna build your kingdom, how you wanna have fun in your own sphere. The strength that we built with our body will now build in our hearts, integrating spirit with Aries, body with Taurus, mind with Gemini, and soul with Cancer. This is where it really does get fun. And it's very important for you to have fun with this transit because you can get so caught up with trying to do everything right when this is more so about, once again, finding your courage, 
rediscovering what you love and how you're going to bring this tantalizing sexual energy towards that. We start this transit off with Mercury that will go retrograde in Leo as Mars will pass it through. It will have already been traveling with Mercury out of Cancer. So it's not like we're gonna get any new messages, but this is really gonna pass the baton because Mars is gonna relay a message through Mercury when Mercury meets Venus and Cancer. And that message really is to just stay powerful because Venus won't be out of